So. Jean. Ah, oh, okay, gut, ja. Jean werde ich mich gerne unterhalten. So, okay. Gute Moschel war schon lange nicht mehr. Da haben wir es aber länger zum Laden, glaube ich. So. Ups. Ups. Ich dachte nicht, dass das so ein dämlicher Waschbogen wäre. Wo ich darauf lande vorher, bevor ich hier am Boden komme. Tack. Okay. Direkt los. So, da war ich nichts mehr vorlesen, glaube ich. Thank you for coming on such short notice, honorary night. I know you must be busy. Well, to make a long story short, there is a particular matter at hand that the Knights requires your assistance with. Das war dann anscheinend wie immer alle Hände voll zu tun, was? Also ich war nicht nach China. So, welchen Level bist du da? Da gibt es da keine Level. Doch, also es gibt Charakterlevel, also da gibt es jeden einzelnen Charakter, kann man auch leveln. Und dann gibt es ein Weltenlevel, was dann halt, je höher du bist, desto stärker sind die Gegner dann. Und du musst einen bestimmten Weltenlevel erreichen, dass du die Charaktere noch weiter hochleveln kannst und so weiter. Äh, Charaktere sind so circa Level 80, glaube ich, so die meisten. Und Weltenstufe 45 bin ich, aber man muss dann immer Aufträge machen, damit man den Weltenlevel auch noch erhöhen kann. Das heißt, wahrscheinlich bin ich schon Weltenstufe 50 oder so, aber das bleibt bei 45 jetzt dabei stehen, bis ich diesen besonderen Auftrag gemacht habe, den ich aber noch für zu schwer halte und deshalb schiebe ich den so ein bisschen vor mir her jetzt gerade. Ja, also, ja, gut. Äh, eine Frage zu Yes, it has been one thing after another recently. Neither myself nor any of the Mondstadt Garrison are able to catch a moment of peace. I have recently received multiple reports from the Knights of someone within the Lawrence clan having close dealings with the Fatui. The Fatui? Again? But who are the Lawrence clan? There was a dark period in Mondstadt's history when the aristocracy ruled over the city. The hard-won freedom that followed with the fall of Decarabian was lost once again as slavery spread throughout the land. The first Dandelion Knight, Vanessa, spearheaded the revolution that overthrew the old aristocratic system and established the Knights of Favonius, leading Mondstadt to become the city that you see today. The aristocrats that had oppressed the people of Mondstadt were none other than the Lawrence clan. Oh, Paimon gets it! So the clan's descendants are now scheming with the bad guys to carry out more dubious deeds. We suspect as much, though we have yet to obtain any solid evidence. The reason I summoned you here today is to ask you to help us further investigate this matter. Warum ausgerechnet ich? Unfortunately, the Knights of Favonius and the aristocracy have been at odds with one another for as long as I can remember. We have already considered every possible way of resolving our differences, but it seems the descendants of the aristocracy remain antagonistic towards the Knights. No matter what stance we take when dealing with them, the outcome is always the same. Our efforts only result in adding more fuel to the flames. We could come knocking on their door on the grounds of a search warrant, but if the investigation were to come up empty, I'm afraid tensions and distrust would only increase. All of our past efforts would have been wasted. Aber ich bin doch auch ein Ehrenritter. You are in fact the best candidate to represent the Knights of Favonius. But you need not emphasize your role as the honorary knight. You are a traveler from a distant land, and you can approach the aristocrats in this way. Once you come to friendly terms with the Lawrence clan, you should be in a good position to learn more of their possible connections with the Fatui. Oh, leave it to Master Jean to come up with such a thorough plan! <laughs> Perhaps such plans have become second nature after all the diplomatic issues I've dealt with. The name of the Lawrence clan member in question is Schubert. Lately, he can often be found strolling near the northern city walls. Na klar, der Schubert. It is Schubert. said that he is difficult to get along with due to his temperamental disposition, but if we approach him calmly, then things should go off without a hitch. Dann werde ich das erwähnen. Ah. Thanks again for your help. If you run into any snags along the way, I'll do anything in my power to support you. Klasse. Die Gischt dem Meer enthoben. Klar, 
Wollte ich auch gerade sagen. Doch, ähm, ja, also. Hier, wenn man auf Charakter geht, sieht man hier Stufe 80 zum Beispiel. Da, Stufe 79. Genau, jetzt ist meine Höchststufe seit Stufe 80. Das war am Anfang, keine Ahnung, 40 oder so oder 30. Ja, da kann man alle Charaktere hochleveln. Mit, entweder wenn man kämpft oder mit diesen Dingen, die man da sammelt die ganze Zeit. Und dann gibt es halt diesen Weltenlevel da, der ist gerade 45, aber es ist eh schon, oder sieht man jetzt nicht gut, aber da steht es auf jeden Fall, dass ich 79.000 dp von 15.000 dp habe. Das heißt, ich bin schon längst darüber, aber ja, ich muss halt erstmal die Stufe hier erhöhen, damit ich weiter hochleveln kann. Ja. Das hängt da irgendwie so zusammen. Das finde ich ganz okay. Gefällt mir ganz gut. So. Tag auch. Na dann gehe ich mal zum Schubert, oder? Der Schubert kann aufhören, seine komischen Opern da zu komponieren und muss man da jetzt mal helfen. Halten wir uns, wenn das noch einmal. So, wir selbst finden. Bist du Schubert? Michelle. Hm. Kommt auf jeden Fall auch ein Sch drin vor. Bist du Schubert? Nein, du bist vor allem ein paar, ein paar Zeichen. Okay, dann gehe ich wieder. So, äh, was? Warte dich mit der Person an der Stadtmauer. Wer kann das wohl sein? Sehe ich nicht Schubert? Hä? Who are you? Schubert. Also. Hello, we're here to. Hello? Ha, hallo. Gibt es ein Problem? What's wrong? Did you just say what's wrong? Huh. And I suppose you think that you can simply strut up here and greet me in such an ignoble and vulgar manner? Given that I don't recognize you, I can only assume that you are a traveler of some variety. I'll have you know that you are speaking with THE Schubert Lawrence, a blood descendant of THE magnanimous nobility. If you wish to address me, you'd best consider your words more carefully. Such nonchalant manners are inadmissible and will never do. Okay. Now, Ach. if you're somehow capable of understanding anything I've said, then you will get down on your knees, apologize for your negligent actions, and give me a proper introduction. That is the appropriate etiquette. That etiquette? Hyman's never heard of something so complicated before. Huh. In former times, when people knew their place and respected traditions, such conduct was only basic courtesy when greeting a nobleman. And neglecting your manners would result in a swift whipping. Ugh. But look at the world now. <laughs> Rules have been thrown to the wayside and manners forgotten. Ugh. I cannot bear to see such degradation. Das klingt alles sehr anstrengend. Kein Wunder, dass der sogar die sie nicht gehalten hat. <lacht> What did you say? You dare question the dignity of the nobility? I'll have you know that though the Lawrence clan is in decline, myself and others of noble blood are looking for a chance to restore our rightful honor. Just look around. The people are unruly and undisciplined. I, however, strive to retain the elegance and etiquette of the nobility. After all, we are of a completely different breed by birth. Ich habe noch nichts gesagt. Save your words. I find your manners and bearing repulsive. I have nothing to discuss with the likes of you. Besides, I am in no way obligated to instruct commoners on basic courtesies. Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. I'll take my leave. Na, hoffentlich. Ganz so. Na schön. Gut. Ich glaube, ich kann das nächste Mal mit dem anderen noch reden. Mit Schubert will ich nichts mehr zu tun haben. Ich Schubert 
Das ist eine lange, langweilige Geschichte. No need to get down on yourself. Sometimes things just don't turn out as planned. Even I can't guarantee useful intel every time I'm dispatched. You just have to keep at it and never give up. Danke für deine Worte. So was Nettes kann nur Ember sagen. <lacht> hey, why don't you let me try to help? What's the problem? Master Jean asked us to build a connection with someone named Schubert Lawrence. But it turns out that he's a peculiar character that doesn't listen to anyone. Especially Paimon. Aha, Schubert! I know him! Let me guess, he said you didn't have any manners. Du musst aber gute Ohren haben. Du hast ihn also auch schon getroffen. <lacht> I've been on the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence clan can be very particular about such things. Uh, you mean everyone in the Lawrence clan is just a big headache? As aristocrats, they believe there should be a certain distance between themselves and common folk. Uh, I understand their thinking, but that's just not how things are anymore. However, there is one exception among the Lawrence clan. My good buddy, Eula. Uh, buddy? That's right. Not only is she from the Lawrence clan, but she's also captain of the Knights of Favonius' fourth company. Ihn hat gesagt, für den Lawrence clan ist der Ritterorden ein Feind. Mitglieder des Lawrence clans können den Ritterorden beitreten? Eula is special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. She has her own beliefs and it shows. In other words, she doesn't really adhere to the strict rules and conventions of her family. However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrences. I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you meet her. Hmm, that's strange. If you is a member of the Lawrence clan, then why would Master Jean choose us for the task? Couldn't she just ask Eula? Uh, well, it's a little complicated. Basically, the Lawrence clan has frowned upon the fact that Eula joined the Knights. Her family members don't particularly care for her. In their eyes, Eula is nothing but a traitor to the family. Dazu gehört viel Mut. Das ist schon irgendwie verständlich. She's very easy to get along with. Just explain the situation, and I'm sure she'll help you come up with a way to get along with Schubert. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness on patrol this morning. You should be able to find her around Stormbearer Mountains. Thanks, Amber. All right, you heard her. Let's go find Eula. Good luck, you two. I've got my own matters to investigate. Good, good. Who would have guessed the Knights have a member of the Lawrence clan? Well, if you want to learn about the conduct of the Lawrence clan, who better to ask than one of their own family members? Das ist korrekt. Los geht's in den Windblickbergen. Ja, hier. Ist okay. So. Aha. Aha. Flash. Hallo. Ein Flash. Und wegfliegen. So. Oh. Äh. Ich habe keine Lust mehr, da rumzuschlagen, aber gut. Ja, das ist ja nicht der Glaube. Was machen die hier? Ist das, was Lula hat sich auf Patrol hier? Lass uns erst kämpfen und später sprechen. Das finde ich gut. Come a little closer. Ja. Im Level geht's noch. Was soll ich denn sagen noch? Wunderbar. Ja. Das gleich verändert hat, was ist denn gewesen? Aber gut. Okay. <laughs> you don't think twice before reaching for your sword, do you? Do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? And now you get to stake a claim. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them first? Uh, mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Uh, what? 
Mark my words. Warte, du willst dich rächen? That's right. I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could, only to find you two already fighting the Fatui. Not only that, you are making quick work of them too. If I didn't make my move, you would have been able to take all the credit. Still, I'm glad you're unscathed. Confronting that number of Fatui at once can be dangerous. Ich bin Kämpfer mit den Fatui gewohnt. Ich weiß schon, wie man kämpft. Uh, sorry, Pylon doesn't understand what you mean, but thanks for your concern. Concern? Why would I be concerned for the safety of my arch enemies? Arch enemies? Wait a minute. You were saying how glad you were that we were unscathed a second ago. By which I meant, if you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers guilty of stealing my targets all the way back to Mondstadt. Which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. My vengeance would be swifter still. Huh? So that's how you see all this? Du bist doch nicht etwa Jula. Yes, that's me. Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. Although at least we can communicate with her. You dare to call someone you've just met strange? Forget the aristocracy. That's rude even by normal standards. Speaking of which, how do you know my name? This is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. And speaking of rude, we're trying to investigate an aristocrat named Schubert Moritz. He's so obsessed with etiquette that he's not even willing to speak with us. <laughs> I understand now. That's my uncle, all right. But why do you mean to investigate him? I see. <laughs> you have some nerve to faming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this too. No, no, no. This is an assignment from Master Jean. It's just an investigation. That's all. Bist du nicht auch neugierig? Machst du denn keine Sorgen? To the everyday citizens of Mondstadt. Everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're known as the ruthless rulers of old Mondstadt. Oh, so that's what you think of me? Hm. Yet another transgression to avenge. But, didn't you say it first? Oh. <laughs> Curious. We've only just met, and you've already given me three causes for vengeance. It's been a while since I've encountered anyone as interesting as you. Also macht dir das interessante Spaß? Warum siehst du so glücklich aus? I assume you need me to teach you the conduct of the Lawrence clan. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle, correct? That's right. Amber told us to come and talk to you. Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. Du hast doch etwas gegen uns. Du willst dich doch nicht immer noch rächen, oder? We can put that aside for now. Besides, if it's the acting Grandmaster's assignment, and Amber's the one who recommended me, I should comply. Ja, ja, bewahr dein Gesicht hier. Uh, Hyman's confused. This girl's all vengeance this and revenge that. But she doesn't seem the least bit angry. Still, Hyman has met bigger weirdos before. Oh ja, und wie das? So, ähm. Let's go, Kathedrale, oder wie, oder was? Machen wir einfach nur da auf dem Platz. Okay, nicht zu hoch sein, weil sonst nehme ich dann Schaden in der Katze. <lacht> okay, da war wir keine Ahnung, doch. Ah, you finally arrived. There's no time to spare. So we'll begin with our first lesson. Wait, hold on. There's something we need to clear up first. Otherwise it'll keep bugging us. Wegen deiner Rache. Du wartest doch nicht immer noch darauf, dich zu rechnen, oder? So that's still on your mind, huh? Maybe you're the ones who can't let things go. <laughs> Don't worry. There's a time and place for exacting vengeance. Besides, I'm not in the mood for any right now. Best save it for later. Uh, you need to be in the right mood for vengeance. I already have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin now, I'd have to start in the right order. Who knows how long it will be before I get to you. <laughs> well, if you have so much to take care of, wouldn't it just be easier to give us a clean slate? Absolutely not. 
stealing my targets, calling me a ruthless ruler, and suspecting my uncle. All worthy of vengeance in my eyes. Ah, sie hat sich wirklich alles aufgeschrieben. Das war also nicht nur Leas Gerede. But you needn't worry. At least, not whilst we're investigating this matter. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase, a man of moral integrity fears no slanderous attack. If Uncle Schubert didn't commit any wrongdoing, then any such investigation will prove fruitless. But if he did commit a wrongful act, then he should bear the full punishment. I'm sure you understand. Das Master können wir akzeptieren. Good. Now, there are two key points that aristocrats attach great importance to. Your manner of speech and your bearing. Let's begin with your manner of speech. Aristocrats have a very unique way of carrying conversation, even with mundane daily topics. Oh, Paimon's already learned some unique conversation. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine! <sighs> Not even close. And besides, it sounds strange. Hey! Hyman learned it from you! And didn't you say not to call others strange? It seems you don't respect the rules of your own clan. No, I've no need to trouble myself with such frivolous formalities. Here, allow me to demonstrate. For example, when greeting a friend, you could say, As the morning dew greets the coming dawn, so do I greet you, my dear friend. As the morning dew does what now? However, such a phrase may only be used during the morning hours. Also, the party with whom you're speaking must be of approximately the same status as you. Morning dew is not uncommon, so it expresses that friendship should not be measured by value, yet also suggests that friendship between aristocrats is pure like water. Oh, no, no, no. You must be prudent with your words. Calling someone a good friend could easily offend them. Uh, but didn't you just say my dear friend in your example? Hyman's confused. Yes, I did. But you must know in the Lawrence family, dear friend is a set phrase that can only be used towards certain friends with whom one is acquainted, but not particularly close. It sounds much more pleasant to call an acquaintance a dear friend. So another thing to remember. Aristocrats are concerned with face and being polite. However, if you were to use dear friend to address an intimate friend, the recipient would think that you were deliberately trying to estrange them. Wie kompliziert. So was braucht man doch normalerweise gar nicht. This is only the first step in making a greeting. After addressing one another, you then exchange courtesies. Wait, wait. This is all too abstract. Um, perhaps it would be better if you gave some real life demonstrations ah very well come with me we'll choose some bystanders to converse with Hurra. Ich freue mich. Wohin? Oh. hey norman ich meinte natürlich morgen und so oh, you're you love the lawrence clan right this can't be good <coughs> You there, lowly laborer. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility... Uh... What comes next? Uh... Oh, right. By solemnly kneeling to the ground with utmost sincerity. Huh? I can't make heads or tails of anything you're saying. <sighs> Hold on. What did they always teach me? Whenever a dispute arises, protection of your family's prestige and dignity always takes precedence. <sighs> Got it. <clears throat> As a lowly commoner, you shall maintain absolute reverence when speaking with those under which you so graciously toil. How dare you speak in such a manner? Ugh, is everyone from the Lawrence clan so strange? The days of the Lawrence clan's tyranny have long passed. I don't care what you're trying to do, just beat it. Du hast das missverstanden. Sie sollten mir nur ein Unterrichtsbeispiel sein. Like I said, I don't care what you're doing. I have nothing to say to any member of the Lawrence clan. And here's a word of advice. I wouldn't be caught dead walking too closely with any one of their like in Mondstadt. If that's all, I'll be going. I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself if we talk any longer. Uh, hey, hey, don't leave. Uh, halt. Oh, mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Wow. The Lawrence name really does carry a terrible reputation. <laughs> Never mind him. 
I could have predicted as much. Let's find someone else. Yes, Peter. And the next we're getting the hat. Marshberry is out of here. Leno. <clears throat> you there, lowly toiler. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility and solemnly kneel to the ground with utmost sincerity. <sighs> huh? Why don't you respond? According to the custom, I must wait until you kneel completely before I can say the next words. Ah, right. I mustn't look at you too long, or I'll be drawing more attention to our difference in status. Oh dear, I've already stared at you for quite a while. <sighs> Fine. You may spare yourself the formality of kneeling, as it may be a little inconvenient. I shall continue. Oh, wait. I think there's a line for people with rude attitudes in this situation. Hey, stop bothering me or else I might say something you wouldn't like to hear. Then again, I've got no words for anyone from the Lawrence clan. Again? What's with this attitude? This is aber schnell eskaliert. Well, this escalated quickly. Ich glaube, wir sollten das lieber lassen. Yes, I don't think his attitude will change. If I keep grandstanding like this, the outcome won't be good. Let's try to find someone else to talk to. Hm. I'll remember your unwillingness to comply. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Ach, Leno. Warum bist du so unhöflich? Hallo? Halte dich weiter mit den Anheimischen. Nicht lieber das. Oh. Randall. You there, lowly worker. I... Yeah, I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our answer's always the same. We've got nothing to say to the likes of you. I mean, seriously, can't you just take a hint? Please calm down. We don't want to cause any trouble. Ah, uh, I know she's a knight of Favonius, and that the knights wouldn't misplace their trust, but the name Lawrence carries too much weight with it. Even to this very day, the descendants of the Lawrence clan are still scheming to reclaim Mondstadt and reinstate their aristocratic rule. And if that wasn't enough, here you are purposefully using their awkward way of speaking just to put on an act? Don't you care for the feelings of us ordinary folk? You have a point. But mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Huh? You want to fight? Listen here, I may be no match for you, but I'll be sure to lodge a complaint with the Knights of Favonius. I'm sorry, but I want her to understand that I'm serious. Listen here, if you don't want things to get more unpleasant, then you'd better just stop. Forget it. There's no point in quarreling any further. Let's go. <sighs> It's all right. This happens quite often. Let's find someone else to talk to. Uh, Hyman thinks we've seen enough now. Let's just stop. Actually, Hyman thinks we should apologize for asking you to demonstrate for us. We had no idea the feelings between the Lawrence clan and the people of Mondstadt were so bitter. <laughs> what can we do? The Lawrence name is already a dirty word among every household in Mondstadt. Even three-year-olds know the story. Was du darüber noch lassen kannst, lassen kannst. Hoppala, ich habe fast ein bisschen Mitleid mit dir. Ja. Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Favonius, they're usually willing to speak a few words with me. Perhaps my aristocratic manner of speech provoked them today. Believe me, it's not a big issue. So this is the way things are normally for you? There's no need for them to direct their anger at you personally. That's the way things are. Perhaps it's just fate for those who have made mistakes. Accepting punishment is only fair, right? But when your family has committed atrocities, I'm afraid there's no easy path to reconciliation. As memories are carried in the city breeze, the faults of such grievances are passed from one generation to the next. It is now my turn to bear this burden. At least I have a means of living a relatively normal life compared to the elders of my family. I have nothing to be discontented about. Also, wusstest du von Anfang an, dass sowas passieren würde? Ja, yeah. why were you so willing to try and demonstrate for us? Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vengeance either. <sighs> Let's leave it at that. 
Just think of it as something I like to do. But unfortunately, you probably didn't learn much from those conversations. It seems we have no other choice but to find more people to talk to. Uh, no need! Besides, the Traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing gets in our way on an adventure. Paimon thinks we got the gist of it now. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, irgendwie schon. Nun, ein wenig unsicher bin ich schon noch. We'll just have to roll with it for now. Let's just keep Eula from getting anyone else riled up. Well then, I'm glad you learned something. You're already halfway toward mastering aristocratic conduct. A proper manner of speech is more aesthetic than anything else. It stems from their taste for refinement. But we must also practice your bearing. I have a very effective way of training for this. Come with me to Dragonspine. Dragonspine, klar, da wollte ich als nächstes hin. Das war weg, oder? Yes, gut. Ah ja, stimmt, das ist ja. Stimmt. Ist das Berg hier? Das ist der Drachengrat. Was du sagst. Können wir hier mit irgendjemandem reden? Zahlt er dich mit Jula, um zu erfahren, wie das Training. So cold! Does aristocrat training really need to be done here? If you wish to truly achieve the dignified conduct of an aristocrat, you must learn to remain composed and elegant even amidst harsh conditions. For example, you can see that part of the path up ahead is quite difficult to traverse. But a well-trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward, but do so without a stain on their garment and their elegance fully intact. Hyman thinks we've left the realm of aristocrats and entered the realm of adventuring. Compared to what we've already seen, this should be a piece of cake. Ja, daran bin ich schon gewohnt. Das fühlt sich vielleicht an. Aha! Uh -huh. This is where you can finally apply some of your adventuring knowledge. <laughs> you look pretty confident this time. All right, let's get started. Remember, you must be graceful and elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most unsightly. Okay. Ich das Ziel, ohne weggeschleudert zu werden oder Schaden zu nehmen. Äh, wie, was? Wo? Was ist das für ein Ding? Ah, okay. Windblade. Aber schade mir das nicht, ja. Das Ziel, ohne weggeschleudert zu werden und Schaden zu nehmen. Ach, das Ziel innerhalb von ein paar Sekunden. Ah, okay, ja. Was soll das? Ah, der Schuss möchte dann da rein. Zum mal Checkpoint. Okay, scheinbar. Hallo. So, und der alte mit der Jula. Okay, hat alles geschafft. Not bad. Ja. A lot better than I had anticipated, at least. Paimon <sighs> almost didn't make it through! Whew. Good thing we didn't get stuck. Um, so, are we aristocrats now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. We've only just begun. This scenario was relatively simple. In the face of a real battle, one would seldom have a chance to stop and evaluate the situation. There's a ley line monolith just up ahead that will attract nearby monsters. Aha. True elegance is the ability to calmly yet swiftly make decisions in the heat of battle. So that is immer so. Kein Wunder, dass du so gut bist. My family set only the highest expectations for me, even as a child. Let's proceed, shall we? Natürlich. Nicht lieber das. Geht zum Trainingsplatz. Der hier ist. This is the Leyline Monolith. Go ahead, activate it. Oh, gerne. But be careful not to get launched into the air or frozen while fighting. That would be most unsightly. Nicht gefroren werden. Okay, okay. Ich bin dran. Was geschafft? Nee. Wingblade. Wenn wir Wasser tippen mal weggehen? Oh nein, ich bin schon nass, okay. Boba, get them! Hip! Hup! 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 Hup!
Sorry, You're in for a little shock. I was not sure if I had You're in for a little shock. Where the seven was underneath that number? Fuck off. Okay, I guess I'll have a little pain. Well oh, done. Your performance so was most impressive. And you managed to remain calm even in these grueling dragon spine surroundings. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if even I could have done the same. Given such an outstanding performance, it seems there is little left for me to teach you. Like Paimon said, adventuring is our specialty. Uh, <laughs> so that's it for our training, right? Then let's get out of Dragon Spine before Paimon turns into a popsicle. <sighs> Hold on. I was commending the Traveler's performance just now. You, on the other hand, seem to have made no progress at all. Uh, what? You mean Paimon was also part of the training? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Vielleicht war das hier zu kalt ist. Vielleicht ist es einfach Paimon Stil. Yeah, that's it. It's too cold here. Uh, besides, Paimon was paying attention to the traveler. Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cause for vengeance, perhaps. Huh. Now, drink this. Huh? What is it? <gasps> Are you trying to poison Paimon? Certainly not. It's warm milk. Didn't you just say that you were freezing? Drink it and it'll help warm you up. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, are you still planning on the whole vengeance thing? If I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon popsicle, that would ruin my plans for vengeance now, wouldn't it? So, dear friend, don't die on me out here. Ah, Paimon knew something was off. All in the name of vengeance. No need to thank me. Now then, given that your training is complete, it's time we return to Mondstadt. Our last step will be preparing a cordial gift to present to my uncle when you meet him. I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit at Good Hunter. Also, was zu essen? Okay. So, geht's um hier schwieriger, um ein Rüstungsgeschenk zu erhalten. Hirschjäger, 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 Hirsch. Hirschjäger, 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 Hirsch. So, äh, also. Runter hier. Hi. Oh, hey, Yula. I see you've met the honorary knight. We meet again, Amber. Seems we're just bound to run into you these days. Well, I just got back and was thinking about grabbing a bite at Good Hunter. But now that you're here, why don't we all eat together? Very well. It's been some time since we've last shared a meal together. Come, take a seat. We can discuss my uncle's gift while we eat. Yes, is there something else you'd like to order? Could you please prepare a serving of my uncle's favorite, the Brotenness Fleisch mit Sauerkraut? We'll take it as a gift to him later. Coming right up. <laughs> It'll take some time crowd. to prepare. I'll Aye. have it here at the counter once it's ready. Uh, hold on a moment. Is this satisfying salad also something that Amber ordered? No, she didn't order it. But because she didn't order any vegetables, I thought I'd throw in a salad on the house. You know, to contrast all the meat dishes. So, we clearly didn't order this. Yet you prepared it without authorization. <laughs> Mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Uh, you're gonna take revenge on her for giving us a free salad? Hmm, you should know me by now. That's the kind of villainous character I am. Well then, uh, please wait a moment while I get the dish for your uncle started. Hmm, <laughs> delicious unauthorized delicacies. Sarah will pay for this. Why would you choose Gebrotenes Fleischmitz sauerkraut as a gift for your uncle? Hyman's never even heard that dish before. This dish isn't actually on Good Hunter's menu. Only long-standing patrons such as my uncle would know about the dish. The old aristocrats seem to take a liking to it. Because of the sour flavor of the sauerkraut, not 
Not too many people are fond of it these days. I guess it's become less popular over time. Eula treated me to the dish once, and I couldn't even finish a bite. I've nicknamed it Gebratenes Fleisch mit Vengeance ever since. Ugh. I never expected us to have such completely different tastes in food. If I weren't in such a good mood, I'd say that constitutes grounds for transgression. Also, it's doch nicht einmal Amber davon verschwunden. Of course not. It's hard to find someone in Mondstadt that attracts contempt as much as she does. <laughs> it's fine when you're just joking between us, but I'm afraid our honorary knight might misunderstand you. Eula's always talking about vengeance, but that's just how she is. It's nothing you should take too seriously. But I am serious, and I'll remember every transgression committed against me. Ugh, it's no wonder so many people dislike you. Paimon's starting to realize that Eula is actually a very good person. There's no need to be so awkward when you want to say something nice. <sighs> Listen, you've never been labeled as a social pariah, have you? Uh, well, no? So that's why you wouldn't understand how hard it is for a bad person to try to be good. It's impossible for me, and I have no intention of acting like a good person. All right, no need to look so sullen. I'm just kidding. Come on, let's eat. The food is getting cold. Eine kurze Umwürfe, ein paar Beginn, alle die Vorlöser, Ballern und genießen das heute Essen. Essen. I'm stuffed. I'll see Sarah about the bill. No need. I've left the Mora under the plate. If you try to settle it with her in person, she won't accept payment for the salad. Don't underestimate my ability to exact revenge. <laughs> Sarah won't get the upper hand this time. All right. Next, you should pay my uncle a visit. He has a small camp at the top of the mountain near Springvale. He usually whiles his time away there when there's nothing else to do. Uh, aren't you coming with us, Yua? I'm afraid that wouldn't be very convenient for me. It'd be better if you two went alone. Ah, yes. Please do remember to pick up the dish from Sarah. I still have more recon to do in the wilderness. Well, until next time. Let's meet again. What an interesting bunch you are. Tja. Machen wir. Wir warten das Fleisch mit Sauerkraut von Sarah. Here, the gebratenes Fleisch mit Sauerkraut is ready to go. <laughs> be sure to eat it while it's hot. Otherwise, the flavor will be spoiled. Okay, ich esse jetzt gleich auf. And by the way, don't worry too much when Eula says strange things. She's actually a very good person. Ich glaube, ich esse meins gleich auf. Heimann's been meaning to ask. No one could stand the sight of Eula when she was trying to speak with the others in Mondstadt earlier. But she seemed to get along fine with you and Amber just now. What's up with that? The people of Mondstadt don't take kindly to anyone bearing the Lawrence name. They are unable to see past her family, therefore they don't actually see Eula for herself. So no matter what Eula tries to do, it's seen as a wrongdoing. It essentially strips the meaning of anything she tries to accomplish. So is this also, I understand. So that's why she's not a good person. How come you're able to see Eula differently then? Well, when she joined the Knights of Favonius, it caused quite an uproar. Many people signed a petition demanding that the Knights reverse their decision. At the same time, numerous members of the Lawrence clan crowded the entrance of the Knights of Favonia's headquarters, clamoring for Eula to give an explanation. Oh, so both sides were unhappy. That's right. So you can imagine how determined Eula must have been under such circumstances. But thanks to Grandmaster Varka and the unwavering attitudes of others in the Knights of Favonius, they were able to quell the unrest. Tensions still remain beneath the surface, I'm afraid. In the eyes of the people, she's a stain on the Knights of Favonius. And in the eyes of the Lawrence clan, she's a disgrace to her family. But she simply fulfills her duty as a knight, silently helping one person after another, myself included. People like Eula should be approached with care and understanding. She could stand to be treated a little more fairly. I believe a day will come when things will get better. Once everything's settled, we should go talk to Yula again. Paimon thinks we know how to communicate with her now. I'm glad. I think that would make her very happy. Though, she might not ever admit it. Take care. Please come again. Wie nett. So. Ich 
Sprache und Erscheinungsbild abgeschlossen. Edle Taten, edles Herz. Gehen Richtung Wellingen und suche nach Schubert. Schubert, da ist er ja äh, irgendwo auf irgendwelche Bergen wieder. Nein, gut. So. Ach, ich schaue schon mal richtig. Ich schaue ja eh schon richtig. Wunderbar. Oh, das ist ja gar nicht so viel Ich habe da Musik gehört. Ganz gut. Mir ist aufgefallen. <lacht> Ups. So, jetzt kann ich ja noch mal was da. da, da, da. So, lass mich auf hier. Die ganze Abfang war nicht genug haben. Okay, Holz sollte ich auch mal wieder sammeln. Da brauche ich ewig viel für meine Dekorationen. Kannenwelt. Oh, hi. Natürlich. Schönen Tag und so. The tent seems to be pretty tattered, but there's a really fancy chair. Could this be another aristocratic custom? Ah, it's you again. I thought I had rid myself of you too. Wir haben gehört, dass Aristokraten äußerst großmütig sind, wenn ich mir die wagenmutige Bemerkung erlauben darf. Magnanimous. Yes, indeed, that is true. Very well. I'm certainly not one to be narrow-minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. Wow, this guy thinks so highly of himself. Bevor ich weiter rede, möchte ich meinen Kampf des Willen zum Ausdruck bringen. Ich fühle mich eher in deinem glorreichen Glanz zu stehen. Ah, a kindred spirit, I see. Yes, we must resist the blundering knights of Favonius. You are true and principled. Impressive. My intentions would attest your humility. It appears you have become well versed in our etiquette. Oh, so he was testing us. Sheesh, what an ordeal. Your conduct is satisfactory. I must say, such progress in such a short time is practically unfathomable. If I may ask, From whence did you learn such a civilized manner of speech? Ein guter Freund war so gut, uns zu unterrichten. Unter den Anweisungen eines guten Freundes und nach dem Lesen einiger Klassiker war ich in der Lage, mein Benehmen zu optimieren. Ah, gut. Very good. You are bright. And compared with the common folk of Mondstadt, you certainly have potential. If you were of aristocratic blood, your prospects would be promising indeed. means we would like to present you with a small token of our goodwill. Huh? Could this be? Gebratnes Fleisch mit Sauerkraut? It's evident that your sentiment is genuine. As a young person nowadays, only with no small effort could you achieve such a dish. It's been so long since I dug into a big, tasty... Uh, I, I beg your pardon. What I mean to say is, since it's nearly meal time, I shall partake. Gut, lass sich gebratenes Fleisch mit Sauerkraut schmecken. Ah, yes, this aroma, just as I remember it, and this exquisite sour flavor. Mm, a delicacy that only us noblemen and women could appreciate. Now even Paimon's starting to wonder what it tastes like. I acknowledge your genuine goodwill. Such sincerity must certainly imply that you come bearing a request. Wir haben gehört, dass der Lawrence Clan einen großen Plan verfolgt. Wait, so you've come to know of this too? It was meant to be a family secret. Ich möchte euch dabei behilflich sein. Ich möchte die Aristokraten unterstützen. Hmm. Well, considering your meticulous etiquette, you must be a talent of unusual fortitude. I'm willing to place my full trust in you. Please, come with me. We happen to be in need of competent fellows like yourself. Oh, in Gimera. To see some friends from a distant land. They have offered their assistance in restoring the Lawrence clan to its former glory. 
So he trusts us solely based on your etiquette. Ich denke auch, wir sollten etwas vorsichtiger sein. Oder vielleicht ist es gerade das, was für die alten Aristokraten am wichtigsten ist. Well then, let's get going, shall we? You'll understand everything in due course. In due course. Do you also. think his friends are the Fatui? Things will get sticky if the Fatui happen to recognize you. What should we do? Stuhlbetrag. Die plüschigen, äh, plüschigen Stühle vor dem abgenutzten Zelt sehen, sehen schon etwas auffällig aus. Schubert muss diesen Stuhl wirklich sehr schätzen. Nur ein wahrer Astrograd würde sich die Mühe machen, luxuriöse Gegenstände in diesem Zustand zu erhalten. Wohl wahr. Okay. Tja. Geh mit Schubert und den Assistenten zu treffen. Den wir schon nicht erkennen. Ja, aber ein, ein, ja, ein Gesicht, das man sich nicht gleich merkt. Tief in das fernliche Lager. Oh, ach so. Ah, Kurioba nicht. Alles okay. Huh? Why have you put on a mask all of a sudden? Wir wollen nichts von Fremden gesehen werden. Uh, es, geht, es gehört sich so für die Aristokraten, eine Maske aufzusetzen. Mm. Even if they are powerful, our status is much higher than theirs in the land of Mondstadt. And therefore, we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. I see. <laughs> Good thinking. Paimon thought for sure they'd recognize us. Let's proceed, shall we? I'll introduce you as my guest. Das erkennt uns sicher niemand. Zum Klart unserer Frisur und so. Wie Sie sehen, es gibt viele, die bereits uns helfen. Ich habe gehört, dass diese Area bereits einmal von den Knights der Favonius wurde. Aber es ist der einzige Ort um die Stadt Mondstadt, der gut well konzentriert und spacious genug ist. Obwohl es in Disrepair gefallen hat und nicht die Tastes der Nobilität nicht passt, müssen wir es einfach für jetzt machen. Uh, sorry, um, können wir any faster of course not an aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps moving hurriedly is unacceptable ah so kommt der Leo zu spät an sag ich ein bisschen schneller zu gehen okay passt da schon weil ich gerade losgehen kann nochmal ich will mich noch umschauen aber da war nichts, nicht mal Eingang, also was nicht mal, wie wir runtergekommen sind. Wo wir runtergekommen sind. As expected. Uh, because we always see them around the city. Um, they must be very powerful. <laughs> huh. Nothing more than foreign ruffians with power and the ability to flaunt it. Well, if they are favorable business partners... Hold it right there! Who's this? If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be held accountable by the Lawrence clan. But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I don't have time for this. Make way! No need to sound all high and mighty like that. Ah, fine. You may proceed. They are proceeding here. Yeah. Go on, this. They don't dare to question you. Of course. That is the benefit of prestige. In past times, it would be a dire offense to speak to a nobleman in such a manner. We could determine a person's fate with the blink of an eye. Huh. <laughs> And such glory will return to me again before long. Uh, where have I seen this person before? And who, may I ask, is this? We mustn't bring just anyone in here. This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. Das ist meine Ehre, euch kennenzulernen. Punkt, Punkt, Punkt. Nee, Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not wise to bring in an outsider at this time. Furthermore, 
There's been word that an outlander who joined the Knights of Favonius has been very active in Mondstadt recently. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, my guest is well versed in the etiquette of the nobility. I must treat them with the proper mutual respect. The Knights of Favonius pay no regard to such details. They could never understand the intricacies of our etiquette. And what about this thing? Uh, you mean timing? Enough! You dare question my word? Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Mondstadt possible? Without the support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friend. You've offended their honor. <laughs> Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, to the matter at hand. Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? Oh, so that's what's going on here. Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Huh. Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? Excuse me. I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. That shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Huh, I see. Crude, but I can make do. Are you able to verify that this is all reliable information? Of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. Yes, yes, we will both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. We will make good use of the intel you provided. Also, be certain not to divulge our identity. There would be... Diplomatic consequences, you know. Don't worry, this matter is only between you and I. And my new friend here. No one else will know of it. Once this is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. Then, the city and all its people will once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. <laughs> Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. <sighs> May I remind you once again that we mustn't act rashly. That is all. For now. Very well. Huh? What are you doing? Kein Grund zur falschen Maskerade mehr. Es hat sich ausgespielt. Ganz ruhig. Das geht auch ohne zu übertreiben. So this was all just a ploy to deceive me. It's your own fault. Who would put so much trust in someone based purely on their manners? After so much planning, this is how it ends? Huh? We'll see about that. Just as I expected. I knew I should have never trusted these foolish aristocrats. No matter. We already have the intel we need. Get them! Ooh. They're running off in different oh, directions. Paimar remembers that this place is a dead end. Let's take care of the Fatui first and then deal with Schubert later. The door is open. Let's go! Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, was, was, was sonst noch gesagt? Egal. Yes, and that'll let me do that. Okay, my. Don't touch me! Get out of my way! I'll leave on my own! It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling with Fatui. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. The answer to was wet. We have in kürzester Zeit sehr viele Fortschritte gemacht. Aha! Uh -huh. I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasantries. 
Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans. It's all for naught now. I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you are well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a Knight of Favonius, I could not overlook your actions. Knight of Favonius? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. You still have a chance. Defeat every Knight of Favonius here, and leave with me. Then I shall plead with the family to spare you, and give you a new beginning. So just to be clear, you want a Knight of Favonius to attack the Knights of Favonius? I shall say this one last time. You are not a Knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. The blood of the Lawrence clan flows in your veins. You must comply with the will of the family. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Why, you... What's you that? unruly maid! If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Had you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? Y you dare lecture me! That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert. I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Ugh. Oh, the disgrace of it all! How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? <laughs> Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness and elegance seem to have gone out the window. What? That's enough fuss for today. You two, take him away. The honorary knight and I have other matters to attend to. <sighs> Given that you've already taken action, I assume you've come across some conclusive evidence. Die Fatou ist in den Besitz einer Karte der Verteidigungspunkte von Mondstadt. Die Fatou plant etwas Schlimmes in Mondstadt. And there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. Yes. Aber jetzt, yes. Geh tiefer ins Innere und äh, hole dir das Diagramm für die Stadtverteidigung. Gut. E. Rack and ruin. Wow. Okay. Wow, können wir mal machen. So, eine Kiste. Au. <lacht> so. Mit dem was zerstören wir nicht. Na gut. Aber es gibt hier wieder Kisten. Okay, okay. So, hallo, was ist denn hier los? Gut. Kann die wahrscheinlich auch irgendwie anfrieren oder so. Yes. Na, dann werde ich mal deaktivieren. So. Nimm mal einen Crush Attack. So. Nee, lass mal. Nicht so viel gebracht. Ja. Egal. Was dann? Ich hab dann mal angelaufen. Okay, yeah. I guess. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Ansonsten, nö, das klappt überhaupt nicht, was du da willst. Das ist halt so. Wir müssen nicht mal probieren. Ah, die Kiste. So. Zeig. Jetzt. Gehört alles mir. Ähm. Ah. Hi. Hat er wirklich über so eine Kiste? Nicht vor. Ja! Ah, ich hätte mal das holen können, hier noch. More speed. Ah. Gut, das funktioniert. Rack and Ruin! Mach ich das? Dann ist das schon auch so mal. Ja, da kommt nicht das ein Schild machen noch. Ich muss überhaupt nicht abhurrieren. Ah ja. Ich sehr schnell in den Ich glaube, ich habe gerade gegeben. Achso, das ist ja noch. Ich bleibe der. Ich muss auch nicht haben, aber egal, ich kann es ja auch öfters machen eigentlich. Warum wow, ich das selten mache, also du steckst ja jetzt schon in der Wand. So. Was, ich muss ich noch machen? Noch ein paar, noch oder? Äh, wahrscheinlich muss ich alles bedingen. Na gut. Aber cool, keine Ahnung, was das ist. Bist du der Chor, ja? Die Odds sind gegen uns. So, was war noch? Also. Oh, no, okay. So, ja, ich brauche ein bisschen Leben. Ähm. Schnee auf dem Herd. Äh, ja, das ist wieder Belegung, oder? Naja, ah, ähm, wie muss ich das nennen? Dann ist doch erstmal das. Crush! Und da lang da unten zu finden, hier in den Bossen. Bitte, da muss ist alles zu gut. Da kann man auch auf. Da kann man auch auf. Da geht auch nicht. Hm. Ich will von Kisten sehe ich jetzt nicht. Also. Glaube ich sehe es auch davon ab, da noch länger zu suchen. schon nichts so wichtiges sein, was man so wie weiter hilft. Äh, ja. Oh nein, das war ich. Könnte man sich drücken, aber egal, ich bin halber sind das auch gleich direkt. Was du aktiviert? Los! Ähm. Wunderbar. Kann ich mal einfach holen wahrscheinlich jetzt. Okay, mach ich. Crush! You dare provoke me! Fatui, come forth and dispose of them! Ich kann doch immer keine Kuhwetter einsetzen, mal laut. Da war da, ja. Oh. So dope? Nee, oder? Also, Come a little closer. Also, da oben steht's. <lacht> Hallo, ich wollte gerade Windblade machen. Oh, ich hab hier eine Meister. 
Schaden, der sich einer hat. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Rack and ruin. Uh, was war jetzt? This must be it. Also. They may very well have already made a copy of it. But without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. The Fatui wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. True. But if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. The Fatui are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. Their opposition wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. Das glaube ich auch nicht. Das glaube ich auch, meine. Ja, wir machen den zweiten Fall im ersten Schritt. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. Warum bist du uns eigentlich bis hier gefolgt? Oh yeah, you suddenly appeared at just the right moment. Yeah, about that. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier, I came to exact my vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. Die Karte von Mondschatz Verteidigung zu bekommen, war also eine Art von Rache. Dann sind wir jetzt gleich auf. Dann sind wir jetzt quitt. Finally, after all this time, Paimon understands what you're saying. In reality, you sensed that something might happen to us during our investigation. You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look. My purpose was vengeance. Don't twist the story. <laughs> you don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming. And mark my words, I'll remember that. Hey, what do you mean Paimon doesn't look too bright? You have seeded a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. Macht uns das jetzt zu deinem Fan. Bring it on! <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and take it from here. Sure. Well, see you around. That you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. See ya. Begischt dem Meer enthoben. Anschauen. So. Fertig. War da noch irgendwas? Nützt mir was? Reicht dir wirklich nicht zu stellen? Okay. Ja, ich sehe die super tolle Kiste da in der Mitte. Ich meine, nur ob da noch was ist. Aha! Wo ist es da? So tolle Sachen wie... Äh... Oder oh, Wanderarzt an Dämonen. Genau. Die wollte ich unbedingt. Und jetzt hole ich mir diese langweiligen Sachen wie... Äh... Abenteuerschwanzfeder und Lernen des Widerstands. Also wirklich schlechter. Naja, egal. So. Ja. Was da? Gut, das ist den Legendenauftrag haben wir auch gemacht. Ich glaube nicht, dass es Blätter gibt. Da kann man ja immer wieder schauen, da unten. So, nein, da muss ich zuerst noch mehr Sachen machen. Stimmt, die sagen gar nicht mehr. Äh, ist da oder war wahrscheinlich. Gut, ja, da muss ich noch mehr Sachen machen. Zum Beispiel das hier, Kapitel 1, vierter Akt. Das sind wir erst. Obwohl das jetzt schon die um den dritten Gebiet ist, oder? Ich vermute ich das am Warten. Ja, genau, da geht es schon um den neuen, um den neue, um das neue Gebiet. Ja, sonst haben wir eh eigentlich nichts. Deshalb würde ich sagen, ich mache da morgen weiter. Ja, nein. 1% ausgelassene Frame. Also irgendwie ist da irgendwas falsch. Also ich schaue mir das jetzt auf jeden Fall an. Wie das da so ausschaut, wenn es da mal ruckelt oder nicht weitergeht. Und dann werde ich mal schauen, wie ich das morgen mache. Ja. Ah, vielleicht niedrige Qualität, aber das ist halt ein bisschen... Äh, das schaut ja jetzt schon nicht so toll aus. <lacht> Mit den 6000 Mbit, äh, 6000 Kbit, meine ich. Aber naja, gut. Das lasse ich mir mal, lass mal meine Sorge sein und dann geht es mal weiter. Ich hoffe, ihr seid wieder dabei und hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Wenn ja, würde ich mich natürlich über einen Like und Kommentar freuen. Wie immer, ansonsten bin ich erstmal raus. Tschüssi!